So now that the holes are drilled, we need to contour the rest of the features on this side. And we talked about that earlier, we're going to use a quarter inch end mill. However, these features are a little bit different. The large circles are designed for bearings, and so they need to be very nice. Whereas this feature here is just a slot for a tensioner, and this hole is just a hole for an access hole. And so the tolerance of those no, don't need to be as fine, and therefore I'm not going to take the time to machine them as nicely to save time. And so I'm going to machine these holes here and the slots differently than I'm going to machine the bearing holes. And I'll show you how to do that. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is basically go to tool paths and go to contour. And that brings up this dialog box, which is labeled chaining and chaining is basically selecting different chains a chain is basically a path that you choose and which your bit will follow that contour and so i need to choose the different paths there's a number of ways to do to choose and select those paths the most straightforward way um, is to just leave it the way it is and you go in here and you zoom in closely and you can click and notice there's that line and I want it to follow that line so I go click and notice it makes a little um, arrow here and there's a green arrow here where it starts and the red arrow here where it ends but I don't want to finish there I want to go all the way around so I need to select here and it continues around notice it says branch point reached select the next branch and so here's the next branch here and then I go here and now I've selected that loop notice it's going counterclockwise if I want to change the direction we'll talk about direction in a minute I can go here to reverse and it would change everything to clockwise and notice when I zoom in and zoom out it's just a feature of the program those arrows sometimes disappear but they're still there and it is now a clockwise loop and so now I can zoom out and maybe zoom into this loop here and if it's just a single circle all I need to do is click once and notice when I try to click it says the selected sub chain does not touch the branch point what it's saying is this isn't connected with the other piece and so what you have to do is click the chain button again or you can see the shortcut to that is C and so hitting C or hitting this button again lets me click here. Notice this is moving in the clockwise direction. It is important that all of your chains go in the same direction for a given operation. And we'll talk about that in a minute. And so we go over here and then we select this circle. You might need to zoom in. I can't zoom in very well. Okay, so I'm zooming in. Notice um, I click there, it's clockwise. And then we're going to go over to this slot here. And I'm going to click here, here, and here. And it selects that. And so now what we have is those four chains are selected, and we're going clockwise around. Now that I've selected those four chains, the next thing that I'm going to do is hit OK. And it brings up this dialog box, which is how we are going to contour. And there's quite a bit here that we need to be aware of. And so I'm going to go over um, this um, in detail because it's, it's critical that you choose how you're going to machine this out um, step by step.